Guys, we are going to start a GoFundMe to get Weds a dog, a pit bull, as well as health insurance for his dog. I will pay for that, so we actually don't need a GoFundMe. Oh, problem solved. So today I'm going to talk about a post Weds made. Dog breed discrimination infuriates me so much. I can't count the number of times I've heard people say all pit bulls are dangerous or all Dobermans are vicious. So wrong and so ignorant. Spend time around a pit bull that grew up in a loving home. They're sweet as any breed. I volunteer, I foster pets. A lot of the pets I foster, they're either one fourth or half pit bull. That's just the nature of where I live. I live in one of the poorest places in all of America uh, by the numbers. So I know some people argue that Humboldt is not poor, but I mean, the numbers will tell you that it is pretty poor. And a lot of people have pit bulls and they are a mix, a pit bull with something else. And if you go to any animal shelter in America, you're going to find that the majority of or the most popular pet in the animal shelter is a pit bull. So I definitely congratulate Wedge on being so, uh, so forward thinking in terms of uh, adopting a pit bull because a lot of people don't do that. And that's very sad. Pit bulls are, if they grow up and grow up in the right family, um, they are probably one of the best dog breeds uh, I've worked with. Now, Wedge is, I think he's asking for us to donate money so he can adopt a pit bull. I don't think Wed has any pets. Um, at least he doesn't post about pets. And I remember something where his ex-girlfriend who was living, they were living in his parents' basement. She wanted to have a cat and Wed said no. So then she left and now she has a cat. So I'm assuming that Wed has never had any pets before because pets, you know, are personal responsibility. But maybe he has, and maybe he needs a new pit bull. So this is his channel. Uh, his most recent video is two minutes long, and it is an update. Uh, since that time, he has not made any videos. He doesn't have a consistent schedule, it looks like. He was given a preview card uh, when I'm making this video, and instead of making a video on the preview card, which normally he would do, he just posted it on Twitter with some memes, and that was how we got the new card. No, I'm sure Wizard of the Coast would much rather have it on his channel because his channel has 183,000 followers, um, and then his Twitter only has one six as many. And so let's talk about how a dog can help him, and in particular, a pit bull. A pit bull is going to need a lot of exercise. They are very high level energy dogs. And therefore, when we get wedged a pit bull, he'll be able to exercise regularly. Um, at the very least, he has to take the dog out a few times to allow them to go to the bathroom. Um, that's good. I mean, getting outside your home is good. That's the first step to exercising. I think a pit bull will be an amazing dog for weds. And as a great, you know, as someone who is very... Uh, humble uh, it's a perfect dog for him so what i'm offering is very simple i have two boxes of masters 25 sitting in front of me right now and if wedge takes this offer i know wedge is not going to take my gym offer i made that offer in vain i knew once i made the offer that he was not going to take it but this one's a little more interesting uh, my insurance is bainfield uh, Bainfield is located in every single, it's either Petco or PetSmart. They're, they're, they're so similar that like I don't even know. Uh, but Bainfield Pet Hospital is located in one of them. So if there's, I think it's Petco. Every Petco has a Bainfield Pet Hospital with a vet. Um, so I'm willing to pay for over a year of uh, insurance on a newly adopted pit bull. Uh, all he has to do is show me the records, the adoption. I do hope it is microchipped. Um, I hope that we can get it neutered. And yeah, so that is my deal to Weds. Uh, I'm going to pay for health insurance for your new pit bull. Uh, and, you know, I think it's great. It teaches you personal responsibility. I have, um, like, well, I was talking about my pets in my vlog. 
Uh, when I wake up, it's feed Fancy Feast to the cat. It's you know change the litter box. It's walk Norman. Um, it's uh, play with the ferrets, let them out of the cage, play. And then when I get back from home from work from downtown Houston, I do the same. And right before I go to sleep, I do the same. So it's a lot of uh, work. But for someone who is having trouble scheduling stuff, I think this would be a perfect. Uh, so I say let's get Weds a pit bull and it will change his life for the better. Now, obviously, you can adopt any breed, and definitely a mutt would be very good as well because they are hard to adopt out. Yeah, I mean, I really appreciate Wedge saying this stuff. Um, it's it's absolutely true. Pit bulls are uh, gorgeous animals, and they are underrated in many ways. Um, I think they're very strong, very athletic, and that's why people use them to do bad stuff uh, because they are very, very smart intelligent animals uh, and they have high levels of endurance uh, a pit bull can go on a hike for uh, we had a i had a mutt with uh, a foster organization in town that that dog went on you know a hiking trip and i was exhausted and it was still ready to do five more hikes uh, my dog norman he has about he has about one good hour of walking in him and then he just quits like he'll just st- He will roll on the ground and not get up until, like, we go to whatever direction he thinks home is at the time. Um, So uh, I definitely think this is a perfect breed for Demandosaurus. I think it is uh, very admirable of him to want to do this. Uh, Again, pit bulls are very difficult to adopt out. I've worked in multiple animal shelters in Williamsburg, Virginia, Richmond, Virginia, uh, New York City. I worked at an animal shelter rescue center. I mean, in Houston, obviously, I worked all over the place. When I lived in Galleria, there was a animal shelter called Bark, B-A-R-C. And I had my students at the time, I was tutoring uh, middle school students, and they all, you know, one of my students actually woke up at 5 a.m. to go on TV. He was really excited about that with Bark, of course. Otherwise, the story would be irrelevant. So I would say... That this is a great, uh, great strategy. We don't need to get Wedge a gym membership anymore. Uh, the dog gets a gym membership. The dog will make sure that he exercises, that he has a schedule, that he'll be. So if we get him this dog, he should be able to produce videos. Um, definitely something that is very worrisome is he's given a, a mythic planeswalker card to spoil, and he doesn't make a video on it. That's not Wedge, right? Uh, that's not. That's just lazy, right? I mean, how many people, how many smaller YouTube channels would would love to get the card that Wedge just spoiled? The answer is all of them. How many even big YouTube channels, minus Tolarian, which I'll make another video on Tolarian. So let's see, uh, 10 ways to exercise with your dog, take a hike, this is what I do. Uh, visit the dog park. Um, obviously, interactions with humans is also very good. Uh, Norman likes interacting with other dogs, so we go to the dog park. A lot of creepy dudes at the dog park, though, sometimes. Uh, go for a swim. Uh, Norman, we took him to swim class, but he forgot how to swim. Uh, jog or run, tug of war, play catch. So there's so many different activities you can do with a dog to, you know, to help your fitness and uh, help you keep up with uh, your exercise and diet. So I think this is a very uh, important thing that we have to tell the Manosaurus is, hey, don't worry about the money. Don't start another GoFundMe. MTG line got you, right? I got you. So uh, the adoption fee, whatever it is, I'll pay for. And then the hot, the um, insurance at Bainfield, just because I know that he probably has a Bainfield. Oh, also this is Kate Upton with her dog. And, you know, I mean... Who knows, right? Like maybe Wedge meets someone with the dog at a dog park. Oh, wait. Okay. No, I take that back. Rewind. He's already met someone in the UK who's still in the UK. Um, Anyway, um, that is it. So if you guys can make sure that Wedge knows that uh, MTG Line will be paying. Well, if Wedge adopts a pit bull, so I want to see the certification, uh, it will change his life for the better. And it will teach him personal responsibility as well. Because you don't, I mean, dogs are, they do take, you have to take care of your dog. 
uh, and on a regular basis. So, yeah, let, let the man of source know. Uh, one year of health insurance at Bainfield, and I will pay the adoption fee. Bainfield's the uh, health insurance provider I have on Norman right now. That's why. Now, if he chooses a different health insurance provider, I'll pay up to $300 or whatever that is. Anyway, bye, guys.